Gotta get this set up here. Too far. There. Stay. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, excuse the skin. I don't have any foundation on right now um, because I actually just tried out one of the products that I have to review. But um, this month, I'm not going to be just um, reviewing Ipsy products, you know, beauty products. I actually got a few things off eBay and um, Ipsy, obviously, and just bought a few things at the stores um, that I want to review. So, first of all, I got bangs, if, if you didn't notice. Um, if you're wondering, it looks different. Why is that? Um, yeah, banging. Anyway, um, <clears throat> My hair don't look too good right now because it's late at night and I already put it up and took my foundation off and, but anyway, so this is the face wash that I used for, um, tonight, um, which did really well, actually. It's ultra mild face wash and extra gentle cleanse for sensitive skin. It's from the, um, the company Lather and this is what it looks like. You can see it. Oh, no. Definitely recommend this. Most definitely. Um, another product that I got that I tried out last night is, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Bryo Geo. <laughs> um, Blossom and Bloom. It's got ginseng in it, and it's volumizing spray. Uh, it's It's for when you blow dry your hair. I guess you um, apply some to the roots while your hair is still damp and then uh, blow dry it, blow dry your hair while this is in it. It actually worked really good. I did it to volumize my bangs and they're pretty, they're pretty puffy. Um, so yeah, this is what that looks like. So that's a good product too. <clears throat> Third product is City Color HD Powder, which I tried a little bit today. It's all right. It's it's very, very messy. So I don't really know if I would like highly suggest it if you don't like messes. Um, but as far as the quality goes, it works pretty well. I liked it. It added, it added like a nice little glow to my face and um, a little shimmer. So that worked really well. That's what this looks like. So, yeah, I, I'd probably give that like an 8 out of 10. The only reason I took away from the points, though, is because of the mess. Um, the next product I got is also from Ipsy. It's, a, again, don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Hikari. It is rose red lip gloss, and it's actually really good. Um, I typically, I'm not a fan of lip gloss because it's so sticky on your lips and it gets on everything. Um, so typically, unless it's a, a very light, natural color, I typically don't use this. But I would definitely use this. This applies very well to my lips and it, it actually has really good color and dimension and it lasts relatively longer than, um, than most lip glosses do. So yeah. Oh, and um, this month, this is the makeup bag that I got from Ipsy. So it's really cute. Black and white with a pink zipper. And once again, it opens up near the front instead of that one that I had that opened at the top that broke. So it seems like they've been getting more on their stuff when it comes to their um, makeup bags. Or actually, this is my favorite one so far. Um, this, can I review that? Yeah. This I bought at the store, um, at Walmart, actually. Typically, I buy CoverGirl, uh, oil-free powder, but to be completely honest, it's $7, and I did not have the money this month. So instead, for this month alone, I bought NYC, aka New York Color, Smooth Skin Press Face Powder. And it actually, it works really well, actually. I was actually very surprised. That's what that looks like. And it was only like $3. So definitely um, 
recommend that. What other things here? This is another thing that I got from Etsy. It's a Deuce, I think. Cosmetics. I can't really see. Ultra Precision Eyeliner, which is waterproof. I like, that's what I'm wearing right now. I like what it does, but what I don't like is that you get one little teeny weeny tip, like, like that, and you can't sharpen it. That's all you get. You can't push it, you can't pull it, you can't sharpen it. It's a, it's a plastic pencil. So I like what it does, but I don't like how stingy they are. I don't know if this is just for the, um, the samples version, but not, not, I give it a five out of five. Not too big a fan of it. Just because of the, how much it gives. Um, I think that's all the beauty products. Oh, I did want to review this. I actually, <laughs> I'm subscribed to Cosmopolitan Magazine. And, um, uh, I got one of these samples in the mail. I've got some bobby pins around it so it don't come out of my purse. But it's Olay Rejuvenous uh, Luminous Tone Tone Reducing. Oh, Tone Perfecting Cream. It's really tiny. I'm sorry. It's, um, it's supposed to smooth out dark spots. And I actually tried it last night. And it actually worked really well. So that's what this looks like. And uh, last, I think that's it. Last but not least, I wanted to review this really, really cute um, handbag organizer, or, the organizing handbag that I got from eBay. I got this for $4. And it holds... It holds everything that my really big purse held before. It holds my makeup bags, my keys, holds all that. It has little pockets in the front and in the back, and a pocket here and a pocket here. I love this. This has saved my life. I freaking live for it. Freaking live for it. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all the the um, products that I have to review for you today. Oh, I forgot one. I forgot one. Um. I also got this little compact mirror, actually from Dollar Tree. So it's got a little lips on it, which I thought was cute. And it's got on the inside, it's got a big mirror and it's got a small mirror. So that was, that's my last part. I almost forgot about that. But okay. I'm sorry that the video wasn't much longer this time around, but I um, figured I'd just kind of get through it. Um. Thank you so much again for watching my review videos. And uh, once again, I'm sorry I look a mess. But um, I love you guys. Please subscribe. Tell me what you all would like me to review in the future. And I will see you later. Bye, guys. One final look.